Over to Storm Tracker 13's Abby Acone because we could be in for some more interesting weather this afternoon. That's right. Yesterday's storms did produce some significant flooding in the Manitou Springs, Colorado Springs, and Pueblo areas. And now, with some of our saturated soil, runoff from today's storm could produce some flooding and flash flooding scenarios. So, best to stick with us as we go throughout the rest of this Tuesday. A look at those top three weather headlines right now. More storms on the way for us, especially later this afternoon and into the early portions of the evening. Evening. I'm saying the best chance for seeing those storms start in the Colorado Springs and Pueblo area between 4 and 6 p.m. and continuing through the first portion of the overnight hours. Heavy rain is possible with some uh, rain rates up to two inches per hour. That's something we'll be monitoring. Flooding is going to be a big threat as we go throughout this afternoon. Live HD Doppler radar currently showing primarily dry conditions with some isolated storms. Here's a look near Buena Vista of this particular cell that's producing light to moderate rain as well as Hail. That's moving off to the south and to the east under 10 miles an hour. For the mountains just west of Walsenburg and Trinidad, we do have light to moderate rain, heavier rain in very small pockets, generally moving off to the east also under 10 miles an hour. If you're traveling to the southwest portion of the state, we still have these flash flood watches in effect. So just use caution, be aware of your surroundings. That's essentially just a heads up to folks that we will be seeing some heavy rain later on today. Here's a look at how it all plays out on Skycast. I've zoomed this in so you can really see where this rain will fall region to region. At 2 p.m., the majority of these showers and storms will stay to the west of the I-25 corridor. These storms that we're already starting to see crop up will increase in strength as well as in their coverage. They'll become more widespread. 3.30 shows these storms almost starting to favor portions of the uh, uh, Palmer Divide, and this will continue to track east as we go throughout the rest of the night. At 5.30, many of these storms will have moved to the east of the I-25 corridor, but take a look at how widespread these storms are projected to be for east El Paso County and east Pueblo County. Some urban flooding is possible, along with some flooding along the regional burn scars. So we're really going to be watching those rain rates as they track over those burn scar areas. Now, the first half of the overnight time period will keep in some scattered storms, and those will diminish as we go into your Wednesday morning. But we'll stick with us as we could still be seeing just a few of those pockets of uh, those passing storms. Rain tracker indicates just how much rain we could see through tomorrow morning. Keep in mind that this is just one computer model and we look at several others. This particular model looking up to about uh, seven tenths of an inch of rain through tomorrow morning in Colorado Springs and almost a third of an inch of rain in Pueblo with greater uh, amounts for the Trinidad area. We don't have any technical possibilities for severe weather today. Even still we can't rule out uh, an isolated severe storm or two. Keeping, keep Keeping in mind that the biggest threat today will be that heavy rain. 83 degrees tomorrow in Colorado Springs, and we keep in the 80s throughout the rest of that seven day forecast with the chances for afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Take a look at how those storms become a bit more widespread over the weekend in terms of their coverage. 40% chance for those storms on Sunday. We drop off those rain chances Monday going into Tuesday. In Pueblo, tomorrow's temperatures should rebound to 90 degrees with the 90s throughout the rest of the work week into the weekend and keeping in the 90s for that entire seven day forecast. A similar story as in Colorado Springs. These storms will be rather scattered in nature Wednesday through Friday. They'll become more widespread over the weekend and they start to uh, filter off. Monday into Tuesday. In Canyon City, we'll reach the upper 80s for tomorrow's high temperature. With the 90s Thursday through Saturday, the chance for isolated scattered storms will carry us through that point. These storms become a bit more widespread over the weekend and will start to taper things off Monday and Tuesday slightly. In Teller County, 74 for tomorrow's high temperature with the 70s Thursday through Tuesday. In Teller County, it's that time of year. We are keeping in the chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms each and every day, especially becoming more widespread Saturday into Sunday. There's still time for that weekend forecast to change. But of course, our focus is really uh, on this afternoon and into the evening hours, getting people through that evening commute. So I'll have another update for you and uh, be breaking down Skycast again next. Yeah, got to keep an eye on things very carefully.